Phil, Phyllis is a hard nut wordsmith who works for Ministry of Information. Um, and you don't quite know what she does. You think she's a spy of some kind. But actually she ends up slightly kind of taking Catherine, Gemma's character, under her wing and being the only other woman who works in that industry, nurturing her and looking after her and probably falling in love with her, but that might be my own private backstory. <laughs> I mean, this is a beautiful film with a lot of different themes and levels that it's working on. For you, what was it that most instantly resonated with you when you read the script for the first time? I think the resilience. I think the resilience that this film shows is something that we're all going to have to exercise in ourselves in the next coming years, in the few next coming years. Um, and I think uh, there's a kind of parallel between what was going on at that period and what we're about to go through Brexit-wise. Um, but also mostly it was Lona, to work with Lona Scherfig. Her all-seeing eye, her eye is like a kaleidoscope. You can't get away with anything. And she sees texture and depth and colour in things that appear just black and white on a page. So that was really the most biggest draw for me. Ordinarily, working from a book, it would make it easier, but Phyllis hardly appears in the book. Her character got engorged because she was so naughty and wonderful and um, wicked in her sense of humour that actually Gabby Chiappi made her more and more present in the film. She's kind of not really that present in the book. So I read the book thinking, oh, I'll get all my source material from this. And I was like, oh, Phyllis is hardly in it. So actually, we could go with, I could go with my own imagination um, in terms of developing the character and, and work with Lona on that. Uh, but source material, not that rich. Lisa, Lisa Evans, who wrote the book, said, oh, God, I wish I'd made Phyllis's part bigger now after she'd seen the film, so that's a compliment. <laughs> I wanted to bring to her a lack of uh, saccharine, a lack of kind of overly sugaring her character. She's not instantly likeable. I wanted her um, to be fierce and I wanted her to be uh, believably resilient um, because she exists in a man's world. This isn't a feminist film per se, but she is a strong woman, the only one in that particular world before Catherine arrives. Um, and I think my own personal story, I was just saying in my own personal story, she slightly falls a little bit in love with Gemma's character. But then so does everybody, so that's okay. <laughs>